Hello and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's contenders will be answering questions on a writer of daring adventure stories, a great modern British artist, a Hollywood star who swapped the box office for the ballot box and the most famous left-wing politician of his day. They get two minutes of questions on those subjects and an extra half a minute on general knowledge. And that's all that stands between them and the semi-final. Well, that and, of course, the other three contenders. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Hyder al Hassani. Your occupation? GIS analyst. And your chosen subject? The life and films of Arnold Schwarzenegger. A bodybuilder turned actor turned politician. Very successful at all of them. He was too. Two minutes, starting now. Which 1993 Schwarzenegger film has a scene similar to that in E.T., where a character is shown in silhouette riding a bicycle in front of the moon? Last Action Hero. Yep. Which of his films won four Oscars in 92, including Best Visual Effects and Best Makeup? Total Recall. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. In True Lies, after Helen sees her husband Harry Tasker kill some terrorist, she quips that she is married to whom? James Bond. Rambo. In the 2010 film The Expendable, Schwarzenegger appears as the mercenary Trench who turns down the job offered to him by which character? I'll pass. In 1965, he went AWOL from the Austrian army to compete in the Junior Mr Europe competition held in which city? Munich. Stuttgart. In January 1977, he won the actor New Star of the Year Golden Globe Award for his performance as Joe Santo in which film? Stay Hungry. Yes. Who wrote the short story, We Can Remember It For You Wholesale, that inspired the 1990 film Total Recall, in which Schwarzenegger's character is given a memory implant? Philip K. Dick. Yes. Who was the host of The Tonight Show, on which he announced in 2003 that he intended to run for the governorship of California? Jay Leno. Yep. In an August 1977 issue of Rolling Stone magazine, Schwarzenegger appeared in an Annie Leibovitz photograph with which female singer? Pass. In Kindergarten Cop, what animal does Schwarzenegger's character John Kimball use as the class mascot when he poses as a substitute teacher? A ferret. Yes. The release of one of his films was delayed by four months in 2001 because its plot had some similarities with the terrorist attack on the World Trade Center. Which film? Collateral damage? Yes. What is the name of the first stalker to pursue Schwarzenegger's character, Ben Richards, in the sadistic game show The Running Man? Sub-Zero. Yes. Which 1982 Schwarzenegger film, directed by John Milius, opens with the philosophical statement, that which does not kill us makes us stronger? Conan the Barbarian. Yes. What was the name of the former Mr Austria who invited Schwarzenegger to join the athletic union that he'd set up in Graz and became one of his earliest trainers? I don't know, pass. Well, I can tell you, yeah. Kurt Marnell was the name. Your other two passes, Dolly Parton was the singer with whom he had his picture taken by Annie Leibovitz, and he turned down a job in the Expendables offered to him by uh, Mr Church. You have scored, Haida, eight points. Good. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Liz Woodcock. Your occupation? Financial administrator. And your chosen subject? David Hockney. The uh, Yorkshire-born artist whose career spans, what, 60 years? In two minutes, starting now, what work by Hockney shows the effect of a diver leaping from a diving board into a swimming pool? A bigger splash. Yes. What art school did he attend as a post-grad for three years from 1959? He was awarded a gold medal there in recognition of his mastery as a draftsman and his innovative paintings. Royal Academy. Royal College of Art. What is the name of the art dealer who gave him his first break and is depicted in the painting Play Within a Play, trapped behind a sheet of glass in his own gallery? John Kasman. Yep. In Mr. and Mrs. Clark and Percy, which depicts the fashion designers Ozzie Clark and Celia Birtwell, what animal is Percy? A cat. Yes. Which 1960s painting by Hockney features the arts patron Betty Freeman in a pink dress on the porch of her home in Los Angeles? Take a guess, maybe? <sighs> or pass? Hollywood. No, Beverly Hills Housewife. On which street in West Hollywood did he buy a studio in an abandoned warehouse in 1978? K 
Can you repeat the question, please? On which street in West Hollywood did he buy a studio in an abandoned warehouse in 1978? Montcalm Avenue. Santa Monica Boulevard. What is the name of the series of pressed colour paper pulp pictures created by Hockney in 1978, which were produced with Ken Tyler at his graphics workshop near New York City? Paper pools. Yes. Hockney produced a photo collage in 1982 of a natural feature that he described as the biggest hole in the world. What natural feature? The Grand Canyon. Yes. Which Greek poet who was born in Alexandria in 1863 wrote the 14 poems on which Hockney based a series of etchings produced in the 60s? Cavafe. Yes. What technology was used by Hockney at the 1989 Sao Paulo Art Biennial to transmit a composite image consisting of 144 sheets to Bradford? The fax machine. Yes. Which landscape painting of a coppice in Yorkshire consists of 50 canvases? It was hung as a block at the 2007 Royal Academy Summer Exhibition. <whistles> Go on, take a guess. <sighs> or pass. No. No, the, um, walls. No. I'll put you out of your misery. Bigger trees near water. Liz, no passes. You have scored seven points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. Your name is? Connor McMahon. Your occupation? <coughs> Teacher. And your chosen subject? Tony Benn. The Labour politician who inherited a peerage and renounced it for a seat in the House of Commons. Two minutes on him starting now. What did Benn famously say was the reason behind his decision to retire from the Commons when he made his announcement in 1999? To spend more time on politics. Yeah. Ben inherited a title in 1960 after the death of his father, which meant he could no longer sit in the House of Commons. He renounced it in 1963. What title? Uh, Viscount Stansgate. Yeah. Which MP helped him secretly install a plaque in the House of Commons broom cupboard that commemorates the suffragette Emily Davison who hid there on the night of the 1911 census? Dennis Skinner. Jeremy Corbyn. Who did Ben succeed as the MP for Bristol South East when he was first elected to the Commons in a 1950 by-election? Matthew Coke. Stafford Cripps. What was the subject of Ben's maiden speech when he entered the Commons as MP for Bristol South East in 1951? Um, nuclear weapons. No, nationalisation of iron and steel. Which Conservative MP resigned his seat at Bristol South East when the Peerage Act came into force, then won the by-election and returned to the House of Commons? Said. No, Malcolm St Clair. In 1954, he was instrumental in the creation of an anti-colonialist group of Labour MPs. What was its name? Crossland. The Movement for Colonial Freedom. To what cabinet post was Ben appointed in 1966? He held the position until Labour was defeated in the 1970 general election. Postmaster General. No, Minister of Technology. Who did Ben replace when he was elected to the Labour Party's national executive for the first time at the 1959 party conference? Bevan. Ian Mikado. He lost his Bristol seat in the 1983 general election but won a by-election the next year in which constituency? Chesterfield. Yes. What method for deciding whether the UK should join the common market did Ben propose to his constitutional Labour Party? Referendum. Yes. Ben visited the Queen at Buckingham Palace in March 1965 as the newly appointed Postmaster General to discuss what subject? Um, the abolition of the monarchy. Uh, no postage stamp design. No passes, Connor. Four points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. And your name is? Nicholas Young. Your occupation? Tour guide. And a chosen subject? John Buchan. John Buchan, the author of The 39 Steps, first published back in 1915. Here we go. What is the name of the gang of street urchins that allies with the retired grocer Dixon McCunn in Hunting Tower? Its members include Wee Jakey and Old Bull. Gobbles diehards. Yes. What book did T.E. Lawrence send in typescript to Buchan, who was impressed and suggested that he write a biography? 
the Mint. Yep, which young subaltern in the Gunners was the model for Buchan's hero Richard Hannay, who first appears in 39 Steps? Edmund Ironside. Yes, what is the name of the German engineer who plays a key role in the rescue of one of the three hostages in the novel of that name? Herr Gaudian. Yes, on what ship did Buchan, now Lord Tweedsmuir, sail with his wife from Liverpool to take up the duties of Governor General of Canada? The Duchess of Richmond. Yes. Buchan uh, described the informal group of British officials who gathered round the South African High Commissioner during the Second Boer War as the Kresh. How is it generally known? Uh, Lord Milner's kindergarten. Yes. What area of responsibility did Lord Milner, the High Commissioner of South Africa, entrust to Buchan during the closing stages and aftermath of the Boer War? Was it the administration of the concentration camps? It was indeed. Buchan was elected as a Member of Parliament for the Unionist Party in 1927 for what constituency? Scottish Universities. Yes. On what subject did Buchan make his first speech in the House of Commons when he defended the government from a motion of censure tabled by the Labour opposition. It was an attempt to reintroduce the pre-1911 powers to the House of Lords. Yes, reform of the House of Lords. Of what government department was Buchan appointed director in 1917, largely on the recommendation of his old mentor, Alfred Milner? Department for Information. Yes. What column did Buchan write for the Sunday Times in the years immediately before he was made Lord Tweedsmuir of Ellsfield and appointed as the Governor-General of Canada? Atticus. Yep. Both T.E. Lawrence and Buchan Buchan's friend, Aubrey Herbert, have been suggested as the inspiration for the aristocratic adventurer who first appears in Green Mantle. Which adventurer? Sandy Arbuthnot. Yes. Which novelist did he describe as his master in fiction and the greatest Jewish writer since Isaiah? Oppenheimer. Yes, E. Phillips Oppenheim. A distinguished classicist and professor of Greek at the University of Glasgow was impressed by the undergraduate Buchan's precocious achievements and acted as a mentor to him. Who was he? Gilbert Murray. Is correct. Nicholas, no passes. You've scored 14 points. <laughs> and now it's time to invite all our contenders back into the studio for the first time together. And it is the general knowledge round now. Two and a half minutes of questions, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the person with the fewer passes will be the winner, and if they're tied on passes as well, there will be a tie break. Now, because they haven't seen each other's specialist subject rounds, the contenders know only what they have scored themselves. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. And as always, we start with the contender with the lowest score. So let me ask our first contender to return to the black chair, and he is Connor. And I dare say you won't want me to remind you how many you scored. No, that's fine. But, but general knowledge, and you've got used to the black chair now. So here we go. Two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Starting now, Boston is the capital of which American state? Ohio. Massachusetts. Who wrote in The Naked Civil Servant? There was no need to do any housework at all. After the first four years, the dirt doesn't get any worse. Sheree Blair. Quentin Crisp. Members of a country's national men's cricket team wear the famous baggy green cap. Which country? South Africa. Australia. Zuppa Inglese is an Italian dessert consisting of sponge cake or macaroons soaked in alcohol and layered with whipped cream and is said to be inspired by an English pudding. What pudding? Crème brûlée. Trifle. From which Soviet leader did President Kennedy and his family receive a present of a mongrel dog named Pushinka? Khrushchev. Yes. What is the title of the song that won the British Single Award for Rag and Bone Man at the 2018 Brits? Only Human. Hume, yeah. Which Prime Minister who resigned because of ill health in April 1908 died several days later while he was still living at 10 Downing Street? Balfour. Uh, Camel Bannerman. What completes the lines from T.S. Eliot's poem, The Hollow Men? This is the way the world ends, not with a bang, but with... A tap. A whimper. Which city of the Han River is the capital of South Korea? So. Yes. Which Russian composer's first symphony, composed in 1866 and revised in 1874, is known as Winter Daydreams? Back. Tchaikovsky. What name that comes from the Greek for sugar was given to the first commercially available artificial sweetener? S uh, Splendour. Saccharin. What is the name of the 19th century Scottish poet and actor who is best known for his widely ridiculed work, The Tay Bridge Disaster? Pass. Kent's Cavern, a limestone show cave with a stalagmite grotto, is in which South Devon resort? 
Cole. Torquay. What is the name of the rose that provides the title of the 1999 film that won five Oscars, including Best Director, for Sam Mendes? Titanic. American Beauty. What animal's ability to remember the location of water holes and better pasture is a key to their survival and has led to the saying that they never forget? Buffalo. Elephants. Which classic novel was adapted for television in 2017, starring Emily Watson as the matriarch Marmee March? Pass. In 1958, the British artist Gerald Holtham designed the internationally recognised peace symbol for what organisation? No. The UN. No, it was CND, Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament. Your two passes, Little Women was that classic novel, and William McGonagall was the Scottish poet who wrote absolute rubbish. Uh, your total score now, Connor, seven points. And next into the chair is Liz, who uh, begins with seven points. And let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Two and a half minutes, here we go. Which New World snakes get their name from the horn-like rings at the end of their tails that they vibrate to ward off intruders? Rattlesnakes. Yep. Peter Capaldi plays the foul-mouthed Downing Street enforcer Malcolm Tucker in a television comedy series that satirises British politics. What's it called? Pass. Who plays Hercule Poirot in the 2017 film adaptation of Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express? The Jude Law. Uh, Kenneth Branagh. Which country withdrew from the Commonwealth in 1961? It rejoined in 1994. Sweden. South Africa. The Greek fish pate, Taramasalata, is traditionally made from the smoked row of the grey mullet, carp or what other fish? Sturgeon. Cod. Which British political party is known by the initials SWP? Pass. In music, what English name is given to the system of notation that gives ascending notes in a scale names that begin Do, Re, Mi? Can you repeat the question, please? In music, what English name is given to the system of notation that gives ascending notes in a scale names that begin Do, Re, Mi? Pass. In October 1915, a nurse who faced a firing squad for helping Allied soldiers escape from German-occupied Belgium said, I realise that patriotism is not enough. I must have no hatred or bitterness towards anyone. What was her name? Florence Nightingale. Uh, nurse Edith Cavell. Which cathedral city does the River Witham flow through on its 80-mile course to the Wash? Norwich. Lincoln. In Greek mythology, the Dioscuri, the twin sons of Zeus, whom he transformed in the constellation Gemini, are Castor and who? Pollux. Yes. Who duetted with Paul McCartney on the top ten singles, Say, 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 and The Girl Is Mine? Linda McCartney. Michael Jackson. The works of which Italian-born painter and sculptor who died in Paris in 1920 are characterised by elongated faces and figures? Pass. Who knocked down Muhammad Ali, then known as Cassius Clay, at the end of the fourth round of their fight at Wembley in June 1963? George Foreman. Henry Cooper. What day do the French call Poisson d'Avril and the Italians Pêche d'Aprile? April Fool's Day. Yep. Mrs Boyle is the murder victim in a long-running stage play by Agatha Christie. What is the play called? Mousetrap. Yes. What bone in the middle ear is the smallest named bone in the human body? Stairpees. Yep. In Gulliver's Travels, which island is at war with its neighbour, Blefescu, over what is the correct end of a boiled egg to open? Lilliput. Lilliput is correct. Four passes. Modigliani was that Italian painter and sculptor. Tonic Solfa is the English name given to the system of notation. SWP stands for Socialist Workers' Party and that satire on the Labour Party in government was the thick of it. You have scored, Liz, a total now of 13 points. <laughs> and now, Haida. Join us again, if you will. And uh, you start this round with eight points. So, two and a half minutes of questions. Here we go. What variety of crisp head lettuce, noted for its almost translucent pale green to white inner leaves, is named after a feature of polar seas? Iceberg? Yep. By what name was the country officially called the German Democratic Republic generally known in the West? West Germany? East Germany. What is the title of the 2018 Wes Anderson animated film set in Japan in which a young boy goes in search of his lost pet, Spots? Isle of Dogs? Yes. 
In 2015, which eastern Mediterranean island country applied for protected designation of origin status for the cheese halloumi? Cyprus? Yes. What street in London's East End, at the heart of the capital's Bangladeshi community, forms the title of Monica Ali's debut novel? The book was adapted for the cinema in 2007. Pass. What is Britain's smallest breed of duck? It gives its name to a shade of greenish blue that resembles the coloured patches over the male's eyes. Teal? Yeah. Which all-girl group that were formed in 1993 and became famous worldwide were originally named Touch? Uh, Spice Girls? Yep. By what nickname is the aria Fincian dal Vigno from Mozart's Don Giovanni often known? Before singing it, the Don traditionally has an alcoholic drink and at the end throws the glass. I don't know, pass. In what sport do the sisters Abby and Ella McCain compete, their granddaughters of Ginger McCain? Football? Horse racing. Which major river that rises in the Guyana highlands and flows for most of its length through Venezuela enters the Atlantic opposite Trinidad? The Amazon? The Orinoco. Queen Victoria's husband, Albert, was a prince of what duchy? Pass. Mahayana is one of the major branches of Buddhism. The other, whose name means teaching of the elders, is called what? Uh, Confucianism. Theravada. One of the three copies of the Armada portrait is on display at the Queen's House, Greenwich. Which triumphant English monarch does it portray? Elizabeth I? Yes. The world's first public railway to use steam traction opened on the 27th of September, 1825, and ran between Stockton and what neighbouring town? Manchester. Darlington. What is the name of the fluid in which a fetus floats in a sac in the uterus during pregnancy? Amniotic fluid? Yes. Which port in northwest England has a statue that marks one point of the slave trade triangle? Identical statues exist in Benin, West Africa, and in Richmond, Virginia. Liverpool? Yes. What is the name of the helmsman played by George Takai in the original Star Trek television series? Sulu. Yes. What is meant by La Playa in a Spanish holiday resort? Uh, the beach? Yep, the beach is indeed right. You had three passes. Uh, Albert was the Prince of Saxe-Coburg. The Champagne aria was the aria from uh, Mozart's Don Giovanni. And Brick Lane was Monica Ali's book. You have now a total hide of 18 points. <laughs> and finally, into the chair, Nicholas. And uh, you start out with a formidable 14 points. So, give it a go. Here we go. What word for a close or a street closed at one end comes from the French for bottom of the bag? Cul-de-sac. Yep. Four successive generations of a family entered the Commons at Woodstock in 1874, Oldham in 1900, Preston in 1940, and Stratford in 1970. Which family? Churchill. Yes. Who was working on the poem The Triumph of Life when he drowned in a boating accident off the Italian coast in 1822? Keats. Shelley. What is the correct name for an unspayed female adult cat? Pass. Who plays Detective Mary Beth Lacey in the television series Cagney and Lacey? Pass. What Italian word that means whim or fancy is used to describe a musical work that often has original or unexpected effects? It occurs in the title of works by Tchaikovsky and Rimsky-Korsakov. Opera? Capriccio. Which Scottish engineer gives his name to the international standard unit of power? Uh, pass. What river that rises in northeastern Lake Ontario is the principal outlet of the North American Great Lakes? St Lawrence. Yes. What does the acronym TEFL stand for in the field of education? Teaching English as a foreign language. Yes. Which American singer-songwriter won six Grammy Awards in 2018, including Song of the Year with That's What I Like and Album of the Year for 24K Magic? Pass. In which city did Hitler try to seize power in his beer hall putsch of November 1923? Munich. Yes. Which London suburb gave its name to the film studio famous for post-war comedies such as The Lady Killers and Kind Hearts and Coronets? Ealing. Yep. Which football team won the Premier League title in 1995 with an attack spearheaded by Alan Shearer and Chris Sutton, who were known as the SAS? Blackburn Rovers. Yep. Which Welsh-born actress made her big-screen breakthrough as Zorro's long-lost daughter Elena in the 1988 film The Mask of Zorro? Catherine Zeta-Jones. Yes. What word for a person who habitually relapses into crime comes from the Latin for to fall back? Habitual criminal. Recidivist. Which British intelligence officer, who's been played by Sir Alec Guinness, among others, did John le Carre introduce in his 1961 novel Call for the Dead? George Smiley. Yes. What name of old English origin is given to a young male chicken castrated and fattened for eating? Uh, 
Poulet? Capon, a 19th century American born artist portrait of his mother is officially called Arrangement in Grey and Black, number one. Which artist? Whistler. Yes. Who in Greek mythology gave Theseus the thread that enabled him to escape from the labyrinth after he had killed the Minotaur? Ariadne. Yes. What is the name of the American government agency founded by President Kennedy in 1961 that sends volunteers overseas to perform social and educational work? The Peace Corps. Is correct. You had four passes. Bruno Mars was that American songwriter. James Watt. You knew that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> the chap who gave his name to the International Standard Unit of Power. Tyne Daly plays Detective Mary Beth Lacey. And the correct name for an unspayed female adult cat is a queen. Nicholas, you have now a total of 26 points, and that means you are the winner. Thank you. No doubt about that result. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, seven points, Connor. Third place, 13 points, Liz. Second place, 18 points, Haida. First place with 26 points, Nicholas. And he goes through to the semi-finals. And if you would like to be a contender on the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at mastermindquiz. And do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>